Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Cheryl Gilmore. Hi, welcome. Hi, hi. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit hyper right now. I tend to do my videos when I'm hyper. <laughs> so we're in a different position right now, and I'll tell you why in a minute. We're in a different situation with my camera. Well, not really. I mean, you can still see my picture of my dad and I, but... um. I want to, I'm sorry for the lighting, it's horrible, I realize that, the sun's just going down, it's like 8.22pm on um, uh, June 11th and 2019, and so the sun is like right there, so I apologize for the lighting. Um, I started a new craft. I know, it's not like I don't have enough things to do already, but I found a new craft. Okay, it's not a new craft. Well, it's, it's fairly new. It's only been around in, like, U.S. and Canada for a few years. But it's new to me. So, it's new. Diamond painting. This is so much fun. And it's so relaxing. And I had to share with you. So, what happened is I wanted a cross-stitch. Now, I started cross-stitching. Just a backstory here. I started cross-stitching a long time ago. And I always got frustrated with this, the thread and separating the thread. But then I decided I want another craft. So I decided to order some craft stitching things, some patterns, which I'll be getting in a couple weeks. Probably in about a week. While I was looking for cross stitching, I remembered a friend mentioning about two months ago, she mentioned diamond painting. So about a month ago, I went and... Um, ordered a diamond painting kit from online. I got it about a month ago. Didn't know how to do it. Didn't want to do it. I don't know why I ordered it type thing. So while I was looking for my cross stitching um, patterns, I remembered about uh, diamond painting. So I went online, I went to YouTube, and I put in diamond painting or how to diamond paint or something like that. And all these videos came out. It was like a magic. It's like, it's like knitting podcasts, and there's like knitting podcasts, and there's book tube, and there's author tube, and there's there's like floss tube. Well, now there's diamond painting tube. I don't really know if that's the name of it, but <laughs> there's a whole bunch of channels out there. So I learned how to diamond paint. So I opened up my pattern and I started doing it, and I love it. So first of all, if you want to watch some really good videos, I recommend Stitcherista. Now, she is a lady who um, has no problem with swearing and cussing. So, um, if you have a problem with that, then I wouldn't suggest you watch her channel. If you have no problem with that, go to her channel, Stitcherista. She used to be a cross-stitch channel. Now, she's cross-stitch and diamond painting. And I love watching her. She is so cool. And like I said, she does cuss. So, if, you know, and she has no problem saying that she cusses. You know, she has no problem with it, and if you have no problem with it, go for it. I don't like cussing, but I don't judge people for it, so I'm okay with it. I went to her channel and watched a few videos and learned how to do it. So, I started this two days ago. Okay, so, in diamond painting, you get, this is called, I think, a half drill, I think is what they're called. And it's when they have pictures on it. And then paint it on it. So that's the little doggy with the stocking. And all these shiny things are the diamonds I put on. So soon this whole puppy will be covered with diamonds. And it's so pretty. You can't really see the colors of the diamonds very well in the camera. But they're basically pink and white right now. Those are basically the only ones I have right now. I'm loving this, and then what you do is you frame it after, and you've got a really nice shiny picture, and I love it, and I'm so enjoying this. It's so re stress releasing. It's easy. It's fun. The only thing is, it does hurt my neck after a while. It does not hurt my hands. So when I'm done knitting for the day or whatever, I just do this, and it calms me down, and I'm enjoying it. So what it the kit comes with a picture, which is sticky. So you can put the diamonds on. Then it comes with beads, or not beads, I call them beads, they're diamonds. And then I went out to the dollar store. They just come in little packets. I went to the dollar store and bought these little corkscrew little bead thingies. They're 
I think seven of them for dollar twenty-five here in BC. So I bought like fourteen of them, and then I put the diamonds in there, and I'm gonna buy some more of them because I also bought um, at the same dollar store. I bought a little storage kit, and I've got my beads in there. I don't know if you can see the beads without me, you know, dumping them all. And there's like. 17 different colors and then what I do with this one is I take at first I use tea bags empty tea bags like the ones that you, you buy empty and I put them in there but then I found these at the dollar store and I get an empty one of the corkscrew bottles and just scoop it up and then yeah so then I put them into this little tray it comes with a tray and you shake it a bit and it'll it'll go to the right side up most of the time and then you get this little hook, this, not hook, this little thingy. And it's got, um, comes with, I would totally recommend anybody who wants to try this to go for it. It is so relaxing. This little, well, it's got some beads on it. Little wax thingy. And all you do is you take your little thing here and you push into it. And you've got a little bit of the wax. And this does like probably 20 or 30 different beads. And you just pick up a, a, not bead, diamond. Pick up a diamond and then you stick it on. It's like a paint by number thing. So, um, here, let me show you. So on here, and they don't come off. Like I got some things stuck on the paper and I peeled it off and the beads did not come off. Diamonds, not beads, didn't come off. So if you look at it, it's got little numbers or letters on here, and then it's got a legend on this side, and it says what color and what number it is for each thing. So it says, you know, number six, so you look at number six, and and each bag has a number on it or a letter on it. So you know what color it goes. It's just paint by number, basically, and it's like cross-stitch, but paint by number, it is so cool. And then what you do is you frame it after. You can frame it or just leave it. I think I can't really afford a frame, so I'm thinking of just leaving it and just putting tacks on it kind of thing and tacking it up on my wall. So, yeah. So, after I started loving this one, today I went to um, paintwithdiamonds.com, and they were having a flash sale. It's on till Sunday, this coming Sunday. It's 75% off the diamond paintings, which are quite expensive, but 75% is a really good deal off because it's, like, I got one for $14. And then they had a code where you can get 20% off extra. So I got, like, 95% off. So a $65 one was only, like, $12. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, this is take two for me on this video. I did a whole video, then realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> Oops. So, um, anyways, so I found that it was 75% off, and then it was 20% off extra if you did a little code. If you go to the site before Sunday, it's diamonds, no, no, paintingwithdiamonds.com. It has a little code there that they give you for 20% more off until Sunday. So that would be, today is the 11th, um, and today is what, uh, what day is today? Tuesday? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12, 13, 14, to the 16th, um, June 16th. So go for it, paintingwithdiamonds.com. Perfect. I ordered, um, a picture of a, 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 a diamond painting thing, kit of, um, Jesus and the Lambs, Jesus the Good Shepherd. I love that picture. It, I, my mom used to always tell me that I was the little lamb in his arms. I have up there, you can't see it, but I have um, a painting of, of Jesus and the Lambs in the she Good Shepherd that my mom and dad gave to me when I was 15 years old, and I treasure it. It's the, my most favorite painting in the whole world. And so I want to do the paint, the paint with diamonds on it. It was $14. I got it for $12. Canadian, so I am so excited. I get that in a couple weeks. I also ordered some cross stitch things, which I told you I did. I ordered some cross stitch. I'll be getting that in about probably about a week. 
So I'm starting to do other crafts. I'm also making a heart blanket out of crochet. So as you know, I made a heart blanket for Ryan and Beth for their wedding. Um, I'm making a heart blanket for a little girl I babysit. She's nine. She'll be ten this month, I think. Next This month, I think she'll be ten. And she really wants one. She loved the one I made for Ryan and Bev. So I'm going to make her one of those for Christmas. So I started it today. Or I started it last night, actually. Um, also, in knitting, I'm I'm making um, the squares for my dad's blanket. I have about 10 of them. I'll show you that in a video coming up. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos tomorrow, hopefully, and um, a, a little bit in advance so I can set, put them up. The, the, the upload them <laughs> soon. I got some books. I'm excited. I My book reading hasn't been a lot because I've been doing crafting and I just haven't felt like reading. So, um, but I, I did get Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman from the library and I'm excited to read that. That's the second book in the Ark of the Scythe series. I, I think it's called Ark of the Scythe. I think it's what the series is called. The first book is called Scythe, and it's by Neil Schusterman. I'm reading that book, Thunderhead. I'm going to start it tomorrow. And if I don't end up, you know, crafting all day. <laughs> so, anyways, um, if you would like me to do a, um, a diamond paint with me video, the lady at Stitcherista, I forget her name, I'm sorry, she does... Uh, diamond paint with me videos where she puts her camera in a way that you can see the diamond painting and then she just talks while she does it it's very relaxing if you would like me to do one of those videos I would love to do it I could talk I could do a tag um, I could talk about books I could talk about whatever you want and then I'll just do my diamond painting and you can watch me do that if you would like that I'm talking really fast I'm sorry if you would like that let me know and I will do one of those Okay, so that's about it. It is 8.30 or so, so I think I'm going to get ready for bed, and I'm going to do a bit more diamond painting, and then I'm going to go to bed. Okay, well, I hope you have a good day tomorrow or today, whenever you see this, and um, God bless you and all you do. Bye, guys.